Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are on page 47 of your student journal, page 47. And what you see in your student journal is something we call a number line. So I'm gonna turn it this way. And what a number line does is it has all of our numbers in order. So we start here, which is our least number at zero, and then our next number is one, two, three, four, and five. And this is how far we've gone, is to five. So this is our number line in order. You can use this page on page 47 to help you today if you need it, because our numbers are in order here. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today. So our goal today is I'm going to use the number line this is our number line to help me, if I need it, to order numbers from zero to five. So here is my first problem, <clears throat> and it wants me to identify the numbers in the box and decide which number's missing. Which number do they have a line and a blank for? Because I need to fill it in. So if I know my numbers in order, I know that zero, one, <clears throat> What comes after one? So I could use this number line to help me if I need to, <clears throat> excuse me, or I know that it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then I could maybe check it and say it one more time. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is called something called counting on when we start small and we count larger. We call that sometimes counting on, but we wanna fill in the missing blank. Okay, I'm gonna show you another one of these. Okay, here is my next one. And it says blank one, two, three, four, five. What number comes before the one? Before I have one object, how many objects do I have? I know that I have zero comes before the one. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So that's what you're going to be practicing today, boys and girls. And remember, you could use your number line if you need some help. Have a good day, bye-bye.